Hey everybody and welcome back to day one of the 2021 Overland Expo East. Coming your way. All right, welcome back to another episode. Today is day one of the 2021 Overland Expo East. In this quick wrap up of day one, you're gonna be seeing coffee and trailers, bike racks, and some just good old fashioned water. Right, all right. My name's Sarah with Brew Track Coffee Gear, and this right here is our Overlander French Press. It is a 24 floral ounce capacity, and it has a threaded lid here. It's got a leak proof snap top. All of our presses have what we call brew stop technology. So this plate right here sits on top of your French press screen, and what that does is, once you've pressed down, after you're done brewing, it halts the extraction process. So it keeps your French press coffee with a nice even flavor. It's not gonna get bitter or over extract. You can keep it in your insulated press hot for hours without worrying about that flavor changing. Now the Overlander specifically has a feature with a removable bottom. So once you're done drinking, this makes cleanup super easy. So there'll be a little bit of liquid left over in this base here with the grounds we call that slurry so all you have to do is swirl it dump it in your trash can or compost and then you're done cleaning you can move on with your day you can follow us on instagram at brew trek gear or find our stuff at brewtrek.com Hey everybody, this is Ian with Thule. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys today about the new Thule T2 Pro XTR. Uh, this is an updated version of our classic uh, Thule T2 Pro platform rack. Uh, this particular rack is a two inch version. It uh, can accommodate any style of bike from 20 to 29 inches and up to 60 pounds uh, per bike uh, with the two inch version. Uh, the inch and a quarter version can accommodate up to 100 pounds uh, of bikes uh, on there. Uh, so the main feature of this rack is the handle on the end which allows you uh, to get into the back of the vehicle quickly and easily. You can lift it up or without bikes on it you can quickly fold it against the back of the vehicle. This rack features a ratcheting hook that goes secures the front of the uh, bike right here in front of the fork arch and then features a ratcheting wheel strap here in the rear that offers two positions uh, for bikes either with a less than three inch wide tire or the second position for fat tire bikes up to five inches in width. That's what makes this so hard. Uh, the rack itself can accommodate bikes with a 51 inch uh, wheelbase. We have this, uh, my personal uh, extra large uh, Ibis Ritmo AF with about a 50 and a half inch wheelbase uh, on the rack currently. The two bike variant of this rack can also be extended with a two bike add-on for four bike capacity at 160 pounds so 40 pounds uh, per bike average 
Um, the nice thing about this rack is if you look below, you have uh, wheels right here, which makes it really easy when you're not using the rack to be able to pull it off the vehicle and roll it into your garage for easy storage. The trays can be adjusted and offset up to five and three quarters inches to minimize interference between handlebars and seat posts. Uh, and this rack is manufactured proudly in Seymour, Connecticut. Uh, retails currently for $699.95. Uh, it's available, as I mentioned, with a two bike add-on uh, that's available for $449.95 uh, to allow you to carry uh, up to four bikes uh, between 20 and 29 inch wheels. Thanks very much. This is Ian with Thule. Check out Thule.com for more information. water um, adjacent Momoa's water company and essentially what's really nice about the company is it is served in aluminum can and by drinking out of aluminum can we're not putting a plastic water bottle into the ocean but you're also helping clean the ocean because we're actively out there working with partnerships to clean the ocean um, so one can equals one water bottle coming up out of the ocean which is great yeah we also have um, we also have 16 ounces available online if you want to go to the website and uh, we potentially have some more flavors coming soon so we're not currently in stores but if you'd like to place an order by all means check out the website and hopefully we'll see you guys in stores at the beginning of the year so 2022 awesome. in retail awesome well yeah. great thank you thank absolutely you. Testing it out. Oh. Yeah, so usually, um, I mean, me and my family live out of our.